Hello, I'm Rachel, the technology and design lead. And I'm Tina, the logistics coordinator. Hi, I'm Morgan, the project partner liaison. This year, our team partnered with Acorn International. To get a sense of the organization, here is a video that we made to accompany our story map. Karina, I think you have to unmute yourself. With chapters in more than 15 countries, ACORN International is part of a global fight for human rights and people power. Here at ACORN, we train members with comprehensive and strategic tools so that they can organize against the institutions that withhold their rights and resources. ACORN is made up of regular people like you who see issues in their community and want to organize from the ground up to make change. If you want to be part of the fight for better communities, join us now. Together, we produced a comprehensive story map that featured all of ACORN's chapters and branches information. With this, we utilized JS story mapping, an open source digital storytelling software, Adobe Animator, Adobe Premiere, and HTML script for stylizing and improving the user interface. With this, we were trying to address ACORN's decentralization of their information that made their website hard to navigate and inherently made it more difficult for organizers and community members to access their global information. Initially, our project's aim was to, cre was to create comprehensive training videos for the organization, but due to COVID, we quickly had to pivot towards digital storytelling. So to take you briefly through our project process, we quickly pivoted to digital story mapping April 1st, and for the rest of spring quarter, we are focused on getting familiar with StoryMap.js through tech training sessions with our project guide and to start planning the next summer months ahead of us. By the end of June, we actually finished our promotional video that you saw at the beginning of the presentation. So surprisingly, the bulk of the project was researching over 60 chapters and branches to make individual slides for them. By the beginning of September, we came to an end of our project successfully publishing the story map onto the website. Our deliverables comprised of four items. And next slide, please, Karina. The main objective, of course, is a story map. But along with that was a resource guide full of screen recorded walkthroughs and troubleshooting tips for ACORN staff, the ACORN promotional video to contextualize the story map, and a pop-up ad on the website. On the top of the page, you could see the very beginning of the story map. And as I take you through our final product, you can also visit the website yourself here. We really wanted a pop-up ad to encourage new users to view the map as the first stop to the site where they could see the global reach of ACORN. The main inspiration for the map came from wanting users to really understand ACORN in just the first two slides and have them explore the vast issues ACORN advocates for as well as current COVID support they provide. We also wanted a space for users to interact with the map instead of a static page that also directs them to the chapters page if they wanna learn more. As the new ACORN website is still in the works, the story map is a place where ACORN staff can easily update the information. You can also visit our Google site to learn more about the project process. And with that, Morgan will discuss our project impacts and evaluation. Our project helped to prompt change both within the organization and internationally. It worked out well so that our story map was complete shortly after ACORN revamped their website so they got an entirely new online platform to attract new organizers and serve as a source of information for existing members. After we completed the story map, the affiliates page that it is on became the most popular on the site. We were able to help the organization by inspiring the chief organizer to hire a communications director as he realized the potential influence that ACORN can have with better public outreach and online presence. He also stated that the map was more modern, functional, and useful to members for the entire organization. Further, Sabine, the new communications director of ACORN, stated that the story map served as an equalizer for the organization's information that does not just highlight the United Kingdom and Canada. 
As our feedback shows, we surpassed our initial goal of centralizing the organization's resources and provided them with a framework for new accessible information that they will use in the future. Our project taught us many valuable skills along the way. Possibly the most important lesson that we learned is only you can set your limitations. Though we thought that our project would fall apart when COVID hit, we were able to make the absolute best of the situation and conduct an effective and productive project of international scope. Secondly, we learned that communication is the most important asset to any group project and you can never have too much of it. Lastly, we learned to navigate the professional world as women. We learned the importance of us asserting ourselves, taking up space and voicing our needs. And next slide, please. And one final thing that we would like to mention is that exactly one year ago, our team was meeting each other for the very first time. Now we've completed a project of international scope, learned four technology platforms and have interacted with leaders of an international community organizing group. The difference that a year can make is astounding. And one final question for you is how have you overcome the limitations of this year? Thank you.